Hello everyone and welcome to my review of Chainsaw Man Chapter 73. So, this week we're going to be going back to my normal review videos. I have already re read through this chapter, I was keeping up with the leaks and stuff, so... Not gonna be a live reaction this time, that was more of a one-off thing. Um, so let's get right into it. With the start of Chapter 73, we have two red flags. The first is that you have a color page of Aki, kind of staring pleasantly at the reader. And then you have the title of the chapter. Now this is like a speed scan fan translation, so this may change when Viz does their official translation. But the title is End of a Lifetime. The title is End of a Lifetime. And we have a color page of Aki, the guy who has like a year left to live, staring into the audience's eyes. Uh, fuck. Shit. Aki has a bunch of red flags right now. He has big, big old death flags flying over his head right now. Um, the, the circumstances of his death, what will those be? We get into that at the very end of the chapter. So let's get into the actual chapter itself. You've got our wonderful trio laying on the floor on their like bed mattress. Um, and Aki comments that Power wasn't having, like, any night terrors, uh, which, uh, I think they've alluded to in the previous chapters that she was, like, freaking out at night and shit, um, and Power says that she thinks they may have actually defeated the Darkness Devil in Hell, and Denji's like, oh yeah, of course, and Power kind of smiles and blushes a little, so this is great, it seems like Power has, for the most part, gotten over her trauma and has gotten back to being the normal Power, so... That's good. Um, Denji and Aki are washing ditch dishes and uh, say they'll have to go back into work and ask Power if she'll be fine by herself, and she will be, of course, because she has Nyako there. But then they get a phone call, so we don't see what the phone call was about, but it's kind of obvious because all three of them get dressed and go into the office and they meet up with Makima who says that Paraki's orders, the 4th Division, is not going to participate in the Gun Devil mission. Um, but she's going to have Denji and Power operating in it anyway, because they're under her own management, and she's going to have them temporarily added to the 7th Division to show off what they can do. So this just totally fucking undermines Aki's whole purpose for not having the 4th Division participate, which is to protect Denji and Power. Makaba, like, stares at him, and he starts sweating... Which leads me to believe that Maki... Or, why did I say Maki? Oh, fuck. It's because I've been reading Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, Makima. Makima stares at him. And his reaction leads me to believe that she uh, knows what his whole plan was. Um, but he says that he's going to participate as well. And Makima's like, oh yeah, of course, still need to do a guardian. But, um, you don't need to worry about them. You should be worrying about yourself instead, which of course Aki won't do because Aki has never worried about himself. But at this point, Makima drops a giant fucking bombshell, which is that the gun devil has already been defeated and captured. So the giant uh, boogeyman monster that they've been building up to since chapter 13 has already been beaten and is in captivity. Um, that's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty good plot twist. I had originally thought that maybe, uh, Makima had formed some kind of contract with it, uh, after she survived getting shot in the head and then blew holes in people's bodies. Um, which could still be possible if it's in captivity, when you consider how Aki got his contract with the future devil. And I assume the fox devil Kone... I think his name is Khan, or was that just a word they used to summon him? Regardless, uh, most of the, I think most of the devils that they make contracts with are in captivity anyway. Um, so that would actually make sense. But everyone's reasonably shocked. And she says that it was first confronted by the Soviet army, which is interesting because Reze was from Russia. Um, but that by then someone had already defeated it, and it was found unconscious. Which, again... 
like the devil was unconscious. Like I don't really like. When I think of unconscious, I don't think of like these uh, otherworldly monsters that we've seen most of the devils as. I see it as a hybrid, which still kind of leads me to believe that the gun devil may be a hybrid. When you consider that all the devils that have been tools or weapons have been hybrids, but. 20% in America, of course, 28% in the Soviet Union, naturally 11% in China. You know, the three big players on the world stage, they've got the biggest chunk. 4% is in possession of other countries, and the remaining 37% is scattered around various devils around the world. Uh, which then accounts for, like, the um, Yakuza guys having it back during that arc, and... Uh, Stuff like that. Oh, and I think the Eternity Devil had one, didn't he? I think, yeah. Um, but Aki says that's impossible because the guns and ammo that were used to kill Himeno and Kurose should have been given by them. But Makima says those were made by humans. Um, and even though every country has, uh, like, strict regulations on gun manufacturing, they still do it, like, underground. Which makes a lot of sense when you think back on it. It was it was a very interesting concept to me when they introduced the idea that, oh yeah, guns are like super rare now because of the gun devil. So, oh, I guess they just wouldn't be that common. But then when they bring it up like this, oh, of course. <laughs> like, of course the black market is still producing firearms because there are people that would want those. So, of course there's going to be an underground market for it. Um, but, um, with that, Aki says that fear of the gun devil will only keep growing, and Makima's like, oh no, that's fine. Um, if people continue to fear it, the gun devil will continue to grow stronger. The result is that more countries owning more of the gun devil's body will wield more power over each other. So, it's like, it's turning into a devil arms race. Why does that sound like it would be like a DMC achievement? I haven't said Devil Arms since the last time I played DMC. In fact, that's the only thing I've ever heard the term Devil Arms in. Um, killing the Gun Devil would be like starting a world war. Interesting. So it is kind of like a, it's like a Devil Cold War. That's really weird. And I really like that Fujimoto is doing this weird creative shit with it. Because in a world where devils are this, like, common facet of reality, like, they're just around. People deal with them all the time. Of course you would have this sort of global geopolitical uh, effect that would come from them existing. So, that's interesting. Anyway, the gang is hanging out on the roof, and... Um, Power asks him why, asks Aki why he's so gloomy, and she's like, we just need to go kill it, right? And he's like, if we really did kill it, then its flesh would be covered by public safety and then taken by the country. Uh, this mission isn't about killing the gun devil, it's about stealing the gun devil from other countries to make it Japan's. So it's all a political thing for the Japanese government to get more of the gun devil. Um... Which is very interesting. Oh, God, what does this remind me of? Ah, shit. I'm getting vibes of something from this, and I can't put my goddamn finger on it. Um. I don't know what it is. But I, I like it when, oh, our government is actually doing bad stuff. Like, our government is sending us doing this stuff so that they can actually gain power for their own means. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, the only thing I can think of right now at the moment is, like, Avengers 1 with them wanting to get back the Tesseract so that they could do their own weapons program that was inspired by Hydra. Shit like that. Um, I don't know why I can't think of anything else. It feels like there's something really obvious that just isn't coming to mind right now. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'll think of it by the time uh, I finish this chapter. Um, but 
So that killing the gun devil permanently is impossible and that there will always be someone using a part of it, which means that Denji can't get his request from Makima. And if Makima was already aware of this information, that means she fucking baited him. So again, everything Makima has been doing has been for the purpose of manipulating Denji. But, um... Aki, uh, seems to get really uncomfortable and sees something and freaks out. And he keeps covering his right eye, which is the eye that the future devil is in, of course. So he tells the future devil to come out, and he shows up outside Aki's apartment, just kind of floating there. We haven't seen future devil's, like, body in a while, so cool to see him. And, um, he tells him to show him the, uh, vision of the future that he'd seen earlier. And before he reminds him of it, he's like, by the way, the future is inevitable. Uh, you can never, never change the future. Um... You and Power are to be cast aside like rags by Denji and die at his hands. And as soon as you do, the devil feared most by the devils themselves will be born. Oh, shit. So, um... It would seem that Aki's terrible death will be getting killed by Denji? Assuming the prophecy comes true? Who knows, this is a shonen anime, as I forget a lot because it's not very shonen-y. Um... The future. I don't care that the future is immutable. I'll, I'll still change it. Um, I'll still use the power. I'll use the energy of everyone's uh, aspirations working together. And I'll, I'll change the future. Um, which, for once, I actually hope that they kind of do. Because I like power and Aki. And also, um, the apocalypse is a bad thing. So I would hope that Denji does not end the world in his pursuit of Makima's... Kuchi, um, but this says that when they die, the devil feared most by the devils themselves will be born, which is, of course, the Chainsaw Devil, which, uh, Angel told Aki is what all the devils hear, like, before they're born, they hear the sound of the Chainsaw Devil. So I assume what would happen is he would, under some circumstances, kill Power and Aki, and then that psychological trauma or whatever would cause him to unlock that door that he sees in his dreams. That Pochita's like, don't open the door. And last time Denji was like, okay. Alright, I just won't open it. Um, but in that situation, he would open the door. And I guess that would unlock the full power of the Chainsaw Devil. Um, so... I guess we're still going to have the Gun Devil Expedition, so they're going to be going to, like, steal parts of the Gun Devil from other countries. If I had to guess, probably China. Because we did see the Chinese government interacting with Quan Chi when they hired her to go kill Denji. So, also, you have to consider the um, history of Japan not liking China very much. So... If I had to guess, they'll probably go there with the 7th edition. Of course, very excited to see what the fuck is going on with the 7th edition. Especially if what Kishibe said was true about the 4th edition just being like a, a little uh, experiment. Um, and if these guys are all really on Kishibe's level, like he said himself and... Um, Oh god, what was his name? Octopus Kid. I'll think of it in a second, and by think of it, I mean I'm gonna check the Chainsaw Man Discord. But, um... Uh, I hope that those guys are, like, all Kishibe tier, because we need some heavy hitters, uh, especially if they're gonna be going after the Gun Devil. Um... Uh... I know... Back during, yeah, back during the last arc, Kishibe said that him and uh, other guy, Octopus Boy, were third rate. So, like, if they're third rate, shit, I don't want to see what a, or no, I really do want to see what a first rate fucking devil hunter is. That sounds awesome. It's Yoshida. Uh, Kishibe and Yoshida said that they were third rate. So, um, That'll be fun to see. And of course, 
Now that we have the reveal of this Doomsday Prophecy, I assume the Doomsday will be the final arc or something. Uh, so we probably will get an arc after Gun Devil. Uh, I don't know how much time has passed since the Sharknado thing where Aki's lifespan was reduced again. If I had to guess, he's probably got like a year left. So you'll probably have one or two more arcs. Um, unless there's like a big time skip after this one and then Aki will die. And I assume that will be the the catalyst for the final arc of the series, but who knows? Fujimoto's last series, Fire Punch, only went up to like 84 chapters, and we're at 73. So we'll, uh, we'll see. We'll see how long this lasts. But if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I do Chainsaw Man videos every week. I do reviews, and I do plan. I know I said this two weeks ago, but I do plan on starting to do more like videos talking about the content of the series itself instead of just doing chapter reviews uh so hopefully i will find the motivation and the time to do that soon um so subscribe if you are looking forward to that and also if you enjoy other series like chainsaw man Oh my god, I'm so fucking stupid. If you enjoy other series like wreck of Ragnarok, Kangen Omega, and Bleach, uh, I have also done videos on those as well. Uh, so check out the rest of my channel if you're interested in that. Follow me on Twitter, I have a link in the description below, and I will see you around.